Good morning, everyone. My name is Barbara, and I give you greetings and blessings, and I hope that you all are having a wonderful, wonderful morning. Um, I am coming now from Atlanta. I am in, in Atlanta visiting family, and uh, right now I'm with my husband, and we're in a hotel, but I decided to go ahead and uh, record a morning devotion because no matter where we are, we can still be in the Word of God. God, whether we are traveling, whether we are on vacation, no matter where, God is with us always. So it's always good to take some time to look at his word. And what I was reflecting on was that um, I was studying for a lesson. I'm uh, going to be teaching a lesson on tomorrow with my church uh, Sunday school, and uh, we do it on Zoom. But I was uh, getting ready for that lesson, and that lesson is um, and coming from the book of Philippians uh, about, um, about yielding and serving others. And I just wanted to bring you just a few of my thoughts on it. Um, and, and right now, I want to read a verse. It's from Philippians chapter 2, verse 2. And this is Paul, the Apostle Paul. And he is, uh, at this time, he's in prison. Um, he has, if you know a little bit about Paul, he has gone through a lot in his life after he became Christian, after he became a Christ follower. And He's in prison, but even though he is not in a good place physically, spiritually, he is still uplifting others and feel, being filled with the joy that only Christ can give us. In Philippians verse 2 uh, uh, and chapter 2, it says, Make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Y'all, that is something, even though physically he is away from the physical body of Christ, he is not part of a Christian community, he is still encouraging others that we can all be one in the body of Christ if we make sure that our minds are straight. We can all, being in, in unity is not the same as being uniform. We all don't look alike. We all don't sound alike. We all don't worship the same way. We don't worship in the same uh, churches. We're not of, we're of many different denominations. But that doesn't mean that we cannot have unity under the Spirit, under the Holy Spirit, and under the guidance of Christ Jesus. And to have that encouragement that we can open up and get in the Word of, of God is just something that we can, if we're feeling down, if we're feeling alone, we can know that that we're, we are not alone. We are not in this uh concerns of the world by ourselves. And then um, I was reading some more, uh, you know, uh, Paul is giving a lot of encouragements. And in verse five in chapter two, he says, in your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Do I display the mindset of Christ Jesus as I am interacting with other people in my life, as I interact with my spouse, as I interact with my child, my grandchildren, my parents, as I interact with my coworkers, as I interact with the cashier that is maybe having a bad day at the store that I am going to, as I interact with uh, the fast food person when I'm going through the drive through my line, maybe they didn't get my order just right. Am I still interacting with that person with the same mindset that Christ Jesus has? Do I interact with people that I encounter with gentleness? Do I interact with people that I encounter with patience? Do I interact with the people that I am able to be around? Do I display the love that Christ Jesus has showed to me? Am I showing that to other people? 
that is something that I know myself, ha I have to work on that. But it's great that when I feel that anger, when I feel that resentment, when I feel that despair is overcoming me, that I can go to the Word of God and look at what this man who has been inspired by God to write this while he was being imprisoned, I can look at this and I can get encouragement to say, you know what, Barbara, you can be uniform, you, uh, be united with the same mindset as Christ has. You can do it because we can do anything. We can do all things through Christ who gives us the strength that we are to, able to have in order to make it through. And then I just want to share another verse with you. Um, he is continuing to give us encouragement. This is the Apostle Paul is continuing to give us encouragement. And then in verse 14, he says, Do everything without grumbling so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. This is, we can just look around and we can see poverty. We can look around and we can see people are still homeless. People are sick. People are depressed. People are dealing with addictions. People are dying. But we can, as he says in the next verse, in continuing in that verse, then you will shine among them like stars. We can be the light of the Lord to shine among the darkness of this world so that people can look at us. And when they look at us, they can see Christ Jesus and they can see that there is hope. They can see that their hopelessness turns into something that they can reach for. They can see in us Christ Jesus. They can be encouraged. They can see the love of the of the uh, of the sun of the s o n shining through us, and hopefully they can be encouraged, even if they're not Christians, y'all, because we all know we incur we encounter people who are not a part of the a body of Christ. We can encourage people who are not Christian so that they can look at us and say, "There's something different about that person. There is something." different that she or he does not act or react like someone who's not of Christ. Let me learn more about them. And then that gives us a chance to be able to say, you know what? Yes, I have some problems. I'm dealing with depression. I'm dealing with addiction. I'm dealing with betrayal. But let me tell you about somebody who can help you through it, a friend who is the best friend you can ever have, who will take our hands and walk with us on this walk of life. That is why we have to be the light of the world, to shine the light of Christ Jesus onto this dying world. And not only do we shine it among people who are not Christians, but we have to be encouragement to our fellow Christians as well. Sometimes be, just because we are believers in Christ doesn't mean that we don't have doubts. It doesn't mean that our faith doesn't waver. So if my fellow brother, my fellow brother, Christian brother or sister is feeling down, if their faith is wavering, if they need encouragement, let us, let me be that light for them as well. We have got to remember that we are here to encourage each other. We are here to uplift each other because when we are encouragement and when we are lifting, helping to uplift our fellow brothers and sisters out of whatever they are going through, we are also helping to bring them closer to the will and to the light of our Father. And through Christ Jesus, all of this is possible, y'all. We can do it. 
Y'all, I don't have anything else to say. Uh, my husband and I are going to continue to get ready for our day. But if you like this video, please, if you have found anything positive about it, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I have an Instagram account. Go ahead and tag me on Instagram. Any encouraging thoughts that you have. And let's grow this community. I can't wait to hear from you all. I hope that you all have a blessed day. Know that I love you and be safe. And until next time, be blessed. Bye-bye.